Hello everyone, Tootsie Forever here. I had the option to attend BronyCon 2017 with a few of my friends. I kind of decided to go to BronyCon last minute, so one of my friends was cool enough to let me stay with him. So this will be BronyCon through my eyes. I hope you enjoy. Now, my BronyCon trip started on Wednesday. I drove to my brother's house, which he allowed me to stay the night there because he was going to take me to the airport early in the morning at 5 in the morning since I flew out at 7 a.m. Booty is flat! Hey! In the flow! She in the flow! No! Shouting out loud! 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 While I was going through airport security, I forgot to take out my laptop, and so the guys were going through my bag, and they even went through some pony cards that I was going to give to a friend. They searched every card individually to make sure I wasn't trying to smuggle any drugs. It was pretty embarrassing. Alright, I officially have one hour before my flight leaves, and it is just now 6 a.m., and I am just killing the time by playing my Nintendo Switch. Downloaded a few games on here, so I'll have something to do on the plane ride. So I'll begin recording once I'm finally on the plane. God, I'm so tired. Now, I didn't really read my plane ticket, so I just assumed I was going to be flying to Dallas and transferring there. But no, I was flying to North Carolina, which explained the two-hour flights. While I was in North Carolina transferring to my next flight, I ran into my good buddy Sonic Crew. Alright, I come to my plane and I meet this guy. What's up, everybody? <laughs> right now, it's trying to focus. There we go. Hi. What's up? Are you excited? Yep. I'm so right excited now. right now. It's good to see you again. I missed you. Yep. <laughs> Alright, we are officially on the plane and we get to head to Baltimore, so this will be really fun. After a 45 minute flight with free apple juice and cookies, I finally arrive in Baltimore. Now that I arrived in Baltimore, my goal was to get to the Baltimore Convention Center so I could just wait there for a few hours for my friend. We're officially in Baltimore, the great city of crime and opportunity. Just a few minutes after I get off the taxi at the Convention Center, I run into my good friends Magma, Webstep, Brony, and Starstride. We have made it to pre-registration. Yay. Did we all happy? Did, did we? <laughs> I think I'm dead. We finally made it to pre-registration! Are we all ready to party? Webstep's going insane! Oh my gosh! I'm the not The enthusiast is coming! <laughs> We're all gonna die! <laughs> Alright guys, we have officially made it through pre-registration oh and the badge are a little darker this year. We got a little black and gray going on. Now, my main goal was to just kill time with friends and just hang out with them until my roommates came. I'm not allowed to check into the hotel unless the main guy who booked it is actually there, so I had to wait a few hours. Now, Tootsie's first time playing Dark Souls 3. The controls are awful. It's because the frame rate is not very good. Oh. Uh, you gotta mainly use all- Alright, we all- we all met up at registration, at least boy. these people, my cold one with the boys. Stop being so mad at At least I think right Magma's a boy with that hairstyle. Uh, <laughs> I love you. Me? You want me? Brandon! Alright, we just had, uh... Hey guys, was that lunch or dinner? That was dinner. That was dinner? That was, okay. I don't care what that was. You don't care what that was? It all right. was like I got to eat the fat guy. And oh my it. gosh, I am going really bald. Yeah, you're old. You know, like, I got a giant bald spot. Oh, oh, I'll get it. Oh, I don't want to be bold. I gotta buy me a hat. All right, we're pretty bored at the cons, waiting for everyone. If, if so we're playing flip cup. If you fail, go Sonic. Oh! 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 So close. Are you ready for me? I'm gonna try a double. Oh! oh! After messing around a lot, and I do mean a lot. Um, I've been trying to contact people so we could figure out where they are so we can all meet up. But my phone started to drain, so we decided to just relax and kill time by talking to each other. What took you so long? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we had a little try. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did a transaction. <laughs> Is it a body pillow? Even better. Even better. <laughs> it's a derpy. Oh! 
say if you like really want one, take it. I want one. You want one? Oh, oh sorry. Okay. All right. Oh, there's two derbies left. Give me the derby. Yeah, I'll, I'll give <laughs> you didn't even give him the option. Nah. <laughs> she was just like, give me that. Oh, Shane, you just asked where we were about uh, ten minutes ago. Tell him we're on that. the third floor. Yeah, I told him. I said we're. Uh, he said third floor. You fuck. <laughs> He, he, he told me not to take a sticker, but I didn't listen. <laughs> Alright, so Little Shy was building up this giant gift, and I didn't know what to expect. I, don't, I was expect for some reason I was expecting like a meme of me or something. Well, but, anywho, he got me an earthquake detector with googly eyes. So thank you very much for this. Yes, you're welcome. It is amazing. I am going to frame this. Well, give me a hug, Turtle. I missed you. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Oh. 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 I thought you weren't going to be here this year. I, I yeah, what happened to that? Nickney happened. Nickney allowed me to come. Shout out to Nickney. Oh. Turtle is actually getting his entire thing yes. paid for. Yes, thank you. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Careful. What? You have a distraction. That depends. Smell. What Where do you get this thing? It's a sharpie. This thing is like toxic. Right here? Yep, just trying to. You gotta put the full little shy. I'm gonna try. You're my practice run. I haven't said anything. Alright, you gotta put little shy. I can't go for that. <laughs> no little sense. Yeah. That's actually That's it? You need the film. You gotta, you gotta put the film. I don't put the film. You gotta put the film. You All right. Name, you gotta put the film. And your real name. I'm just kidding. My social security number, my phone number, my other name. Now, after messing around with friends at the con and finally meeting up with everyone, about six hours after I landed in Baltimore, the guy who owns the hotel room finally shows up and I give him these cards that he has been waiting for about three years for. Why but here it is. All the My Little Pony cards. Come on, man. Don't be a diva, man. <laughs> finally! Took you. Don't be a diva, man. No, took me long enough. Took you long enough to give me this oh, yeah. As Thursday finally draws to a close, we all decide to say our goodbyes and head home to our hotels where we can all relax and get ready for tomorrow. All right, we finally made it to our hotel, which is 20 minutes away from the con. Is that right, Glitcho? Yeah, 20 it's minutes. And, uh, it's safely a 10-minute ride. Good news is, I, it's the first time I ever took an Uber, and they're pretty cool. I like Ubers. Ubers are nice. 10 out of 10, would ride again. Oh, definitely. And anywho, we're going to go to our hotel and check it out. Okay, we have just made it to our hotel, and it's actually kind of fancy for being a little far out. Now, it is a smoker's room. Is, is it is a smoker's room? It is. Oh, yeah, we have a giant... Oh. So, it, it does smell like, like uh, cigarettes in you here. You should have asked if we had any lung problems before booking yeah. this glitch out. Don't you? Yeah, you lung problems? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no problem, sir. But this is a very nice hotel. We even have a nice wide open view of the garage. Wow. Yeah, of the garage. Wow. It's very nice. Sort of. The AC is sort of. Yeah, it destroyed the view. So. Yeah, that really did destroy the view. It's nice to see it at night, though. That glaring light. How much would you say that view is worth? It's worth two bucks. Two bucks? We have a two dollar view. A two dollar view. We have a two dollar view and a 222 dollar view. Everybody got UV light? But anywho, we're all going to just relax a bit and then probably go to the convention maybe early in the morning, probably. Hey, dude, you deserve it. Oh. Anywho, it is 11.20, so I think it's... So we're going to end it here. You're wrong. Bye. We can't let you guys see the raunchy stuff we're oh, going to do. That, that's, that's the behind the scenes. Isn't that right, Turtle? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, Come here, you. Oh, yeah. Once we all wake up, we decide to grab some breakfast and then head to the convention, where we just figure out what we're going to be doing today. There wasn't that many panels that I was interested in, other than an autograph signing with the voice actor for Thorax and a Bronies React panel that Little Shy was going to be on, but that wouldn't start until 8pm. We decide to go to Vendor Hall, one of many trips. There, my first purchase was Pony Quest Master Quest. I already have Pony Quest, but this was a much updated version of the game that made it a lot easier. Let's see what you're doing. I'm looking at Hold on. some Hold on. stupid fan fiction. Hold on, let me back up. We got the full shot. Stupid fan fiction. Stupid fan fiction. You have a My Little Dashie and Old Book for it? <laughs> My Little Dashie and uh, Old No, we don't sell trash. <laughs> oh. My second purchase was an Octavia plushie. Octavia is my favorite pony, so it makes sense that I bought a super soft plushie of her at BronyCon. I got to sign my best friend's body, shout out to Bear for letting me ride on you with a sloppy signature. And I also bought something as a joke. Actually, I'm really not sure why I bought in the first place. And then we decided to mess around for a little bit until I got to go see the voice actor for Thorax. Alright, I just saw Kyle Rideout who is 
the voice actor for Thorax, one of my favorite characters in the show, and there are no Thorax plushies at Ronnie Cobb, which I'm really sad. So I got my second, or I can't say my second favorite because they're both tied on the same level. But we Third have favorite. Octavia, and he signed in gold. After I got the autograph signature, we decided to go to the gaming room so we could just play some games. Unfortunately, all the games were taken, but I brought my Nintendo Switch and got to challenge my good friends. We decided to go back to Vendor Hall so I could purchase the giant BronyCon plushies this year. But when I was paying for it, my card got declined, so I had to call my bank and figure out what was going on. Now, ever since BronyCon 2013, there was always a street merchant who was always selling ice cold water for only one dollar. So it was a tradition for all of us to go buy some water off of him. Back at the con, we decided to just go wait in the line for the Bronies React panel, and we waited there for probably about two hours. Ten minutes, wait, Man. two minutes early, just know, so we could be full on. I didn't know that Saber Spark dyed his hair blonde. I didn't either. He's Markiplier now. No, he's dyed his hair blonde. What are you talking? About? While we were waiting for Little Shy to get done with autographs, we just decided to mess around. How was the panel? Good. I'm like exhausted right now, but uh, I think it went well. But you still All right, Little Shy is going to be eating his... You have to do like the YouTube videos do. Little Shy, what are you going to be eating? I'm going to be reviewing this MRE. My name is not Steve, but I'm... My name is not Steve. We are back with Little Shy's food, which is it done? Is it officially it done? It's disgusting underneath these lights, but uh, I heard this is one of the better ones. Beef. Oh, it smells good. Taste it. Don't spill it. it. Taste it. Come on, taste it. Taste it. Yeah. Give us your solid opinion. Dang. Mm. He just spits it out. Mm. <laughs> it just tastes like canned food. It's, just, it's just canned food. It's just canned food. After Little Shy ate his little dinner, we decided to just part ways for the night and head back to our hotel. No, no vlog. Hello, everyone. Hello. And welcome to the vlog. It is the end of the wow. end of day one, and we are all super tired. Little Shy, are you tired? We're super tired. I am and very tired. tired. Oh wow! That's I want to sleep all day. Okay. I forgot to recharge my camera overnight, so I didn't get to record that much of day two. The first thing I did was went back to Vendor Hall to see if I could buy a Thorax plushie for cheap. I wasn't able to find one, but I found one of his minions. This convention is awful. There are no Thorax plushies. There are no nothing. There's, bare, there's like no photos of him. There's no merchandise of him. I take it back. They did have a plushie of Thorax, but they wanted a thousand dollars for it. I have a limit on plushies. After we did that, we pretty much rushed to a hotel room because we were going to do a live reaction to a My Little Pony episode for the Little Shy livestream group. It was pretty funny. We're about to go live and we have everyone here. Wow, a lot of people. Way too many people. It's okay. We have two monitors set up. Magma was cool enough to set it up. With the help of Tech Pro over there. Yes. Episode's about to start, we all ready? Woo! I'll record it, I'll be recording the episode and it'll be on YouTube in a minute. <laughs> we have just finished our live stream recording and now we're gonna go back to the con. Now, it was around this time that my camera battery started to die, so this was the last shot of BronyCon I was able to get for the day. Yeah, how are you? You're doing Tootsie, I believe in you. Alright, here we go. <laughs> you got it, Tootsie. Mm. Now, the next part of the vlog was recorded by my friend Little Shy FIM. Uh, I thought it would be a good idea to try something new, so I attempted to sing the My Little Pony theme song on the My Little Karaoke panel. It's gonna be interesting. I just asked him if he knows how to sing, and he said, No, it's karaoke. You're not supposed to know how to sing. So we'll see how this turns out in a moment. It went as well as you would expect it to be.
After I embarrassed myself on stage, we just decided to just run around and have a little fun. We carried each other, got some free stuff, met some fans, saw a bunch of ponies being thrown in a pile, walked around the con some more, and decided to go to Brony Palooza. We saw Black Griffin perform on stage, but the main event was seeing our good friend Drummer Shy drum it out. Drummer Shy, if you're watching this, great job at Brony Palooza. Now, the last day of BronyCon is always the saddest, because now you have a time limit of how much time you can hang out with them before they all have to leave to go home. The worst part about this is that you have no idea if any of the people you have just met are going to be there again, so you want to try your hardest to make the best out of what you have left. Also, it's a really good day to get discounts at the vendor hall. <laughs> so, what are you doing? I'm going to tear this plushie. I like how you drew hair on it. I, oh, I, ri I ripped your mane off. Wait, There's... why not Starlight Glamour? Why, why Twilight Sparkle? They so, the, okay. Some didn't want it, so they just gave it to me. Wait, I wow. think I know who it was. And let me see the victim of last year. Yeah. We have the foot, a decapitated Fluttershy head. I like the, it I was a rainbow thing. dash, but there's nothing left of it. Wow. He videoed it. Well, there. This guy videoed it. Ow. This guy videoed it. <laughs> Ow? Give me a hug. Give me a hug. I miss you. You're my favorite Scottish guy. <laughs> I'm the only Scottish guy you know. <laughs> I know, that's why you're my favorite. Tetsu, I think it's the ride. This is the ride! Oh. Yeah! Oh, there's shit. your meme for the weekend, folks. <laughs> now, the only event left was closing ceremonies. We didn't have anything to do, so we just decided to kill time. We went back to the gaming room for the hundredth time. I tried to drive an RC car, and I even filmed my friend Bear ripping out the Twilight plushie. Why would you do that, Bear? That was a perfectly good plush. We stopped by the vendor hall one last time, and I said I wasn't going to get another plushie, but I lied. I bought a plushie again. It's a Lyra plushie, a really good plushie. I got it for a hundred bucks. It was originally 150, but since I'm a YouTuber, I was able to get about uh, $50 off, so that's really cool. After that, we decided to check out the Tesla coil, which was basically electric energy flowing to the beat of music. And then we got in line for closing ceremonies, two hours early because we knew it was going to fill up. Just so we could beat the line and get some good seats. The closing ceremony starts at like 4.30 and it's 2.52 right now, so we have to wait a long time. Hi. So we're just messing around with my liner plushie. Oh, yep. we're making videos. Yeah, they're making videos of my liner plushie. Interesting about this is that when the line started to fill up, everyone was throwing around balloons, and then security said no balloons in the ceremony, so they were just popping them all. Also, whenever someone knocked over the metal frames, everyone would just start laughing and clapping and cheering. It's uh, something you can't really explain, but it's definitely something that can only happen at BronyCon. After waiting about two hours in line, we can finally enter closing ceremonies. <laughs> As closing ceremonies begin, a guy got to shave his beard. That happened. The total guest this year was 6,319. Still a big drop from the previous year, which BronyCon 2015 had over 10,000. But the money raised from the charity auction was almost $33,000. So way to go, guys. The ceremony ended with a giant speech and also the release date of BronyCon 2018. Hopefully I'll be able to go. All right, the convention's officially over. Over next year. The con is over. I'm gonna cry. Finally, I can get rid of these guys. <laughs> but unfortunately, once closing ceremonies was over, I was not able to say goodbye to a bunch of my friends. So I'm just gonna do it now. I'm gonna miss you all, and I really wish that we could just live in the same state so we could hang out all the time. I really don't want to go back to work and go back to my boring life and my boring room. <laughs> Alright, we're officially back at the hotel. We are actually all packing up to get ready to go, but right now... Turtle and Nick uh, are gonna be ditching I us I shouldn't soon. be here. No, you shouldn't. You know what? Before this vlog is over, I'm gonna do something. Oh, what's that? Come here. Sex? Oh, sex. Oh! Yay! Oh, that's not gay! Alright, Daryl. No, 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 I don't know what this is, but it sounds okay. awful. So, hold on. Everyone take one. Do not take a bite. Do not take a bite. Yeah, don't, don't take a bite, Nick. Take a bite. It smells like laser barbecue. We also have GG on here. Alright, anyone else? Let's go shop. 
Oh, the sound. Oh, this smells it really. Smell it terrible. It smells it's really like, nasty. Like really right, nasty. So everyone, ready for your suicide pill? Yeah. Take your suicide <laughs> pill. I'm not eating it. I don't even like these this is nasty. <laughs> After we all parted ways, I got on my plane and flew back to Oklahoma, which is pretty depressing. So let's do a quick recap over everything that I have bought at the convention. I got an Octavia plushie signed by the voice actor of Thorax. I got a Changeling Minion plushie that was also signed by the voice actor of Thorax, who also signed Thorax on there. Little Shy's Fedora from BronyCon 2013. A gift from a commie girl who gave me this Granny Smith bead art. The giant BronyCon 2017 plushies. For some reason, a Sunset Shimmer body pillow, don't ask me why. An easier version of the game Pony Quest for the NES. A super adorkable Lyra plushie. A derpy jersey to match my Octavia jersey that I always wear in my videos. A Chinese knockoff of a derpy plush that I purchased. And last, a BronyCon 2017 poster that I accidentally ripped trying to get it out of the tube. Overall, BronyCon 2017 was an amazing experience. I got to meet so many new people, purchased a lot of new items, and did a bunch of cringy moments that I'm probably going to regret. I look forward to hopefully attending next year. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Except for you Starlight fans, you people are just wrong. Yeah.